Let me show you how to turn black into an alpha channel or in fact any other color in Photoshop. So a typical application is that in Das Studio we have these eyelashes and hair scalps and eyebrows and all that. And sometimes with that card based, they happen with transparency maps. So here on the eyelashes, you can see that this is the actual image. Black would be transparent when it's rendered. White is the color that needs to shine through, but there's really no alpha channel attached here. It's just a plain JPEG image. So if I had a different application like Unreal Engine or Blender in which we need an alpha channel, this is how we can convert the picture. So first of all, you have to find what you're looking for, like this one here. I happen to have it open. And Photoshop presents this as a locked layer at the bottom here. So unlock that, first of all, and then create a second layer underneath it. So I'm just going to go and grab a color here with this yin yang icon. I'll say solid color. I'll give it some value. It doesn't matter. We're going to switch it off um, afterwards. So it's going to just be red for now and put that layer underneath the layer that we want to turn into transparency. So left click and drag that underneath it. So we just have our image back. So now on our image where black or whatever other color needs to be turned into alpha channel, right click on that, go to blending options. And then you see this magic little dialog pop up here. At the top here where it says blending options, we have this field at the bottom where it says blend if gray. And it gives us a value for the underlying layer and for the current layer. So in my case, I'm going to go and left click and drag this icon to anything other than zero here. I should have perhaps zoomed in. Let me just go and cancel out of that. Zoom in to my layer just so that I can see the result of what I'm doing a little bit better. Go and right click on that layer, blending options. And then I'll go and switch this from zero all the way over until I have a satisfactory result. So just a little bit to the right, I can see that I still have a little bit of black that surrounds the eyebrows here. But if I left click and drag that further over, eventually the eyelashes will disappear. So I don't want to do that. So somewhere in the middle until it looks good, somewhere like, you know, 50, 60, 70, something like that. That's, that's how we can do that. Hit OK. And then you have the red shining through where they used to be black. So if I go and disable that layer, if I export that out now, then this would be white on a transparent background. It doesn't look great. So sometimes you need the opposite way around. You still need whatever's red needs to be transparent. So you just switch that layer off, save it as a PNG, and off you go. But sometimes you might need to invert the white into black for your application. And Photoshop can do that as well. That's down here also on the little yin yang icon. Just add an invert layer to the top as soon as you do that the whole thing is being inverted. We don't want to invert everything. So the moment we switch off the red, it still is transparent, but the eyelashes are now black and they can now be rendered in your target application with together with your texture image. I hope this was helpful and I hope this uh, explains it. Oh yeah, obviously to export this, either save the Photoshop file or export, export as and then make sure that the export format can contain a transparency channel. So in our case, PNG, make sure it has transparency, and then this is what will be saved. I hope this was helpful, and I hope I'll see you next time. Take care.